So we are now looking for Greta Garbo's grave. Magnus, yeah. what's your favourite picture with Greta Garbo? Favourite picture? Just to situate you, we are here right now and we are going to go to Greta Garbo's grave. Yeah, she's actually bur buried there. That's correct. Do you know anything about Greta Garbo? She was working at a, a, a sh very big shop here in Stockholm before she became famous and, a, and an actress. It's called NK, the Nordic company. Do you know pub? Well, pub. So that's the wrong shop. Yeah. So this is a lesson to you. Don't listen to anything I'll say because it usually is, it generally is wrong. So we are now looking for Greta Garbo's grave. Magnus, yeah. what's your favorite picture with Greta Garbo? Favorite picture? Favorite movie? Oh. <laughs> I think we found it. Or maybe not. Yeah, it might be up on the hill though. Yeah. Cool. So, favorite? picture oh I, I don't think I can can name one because I haven't seen so many I don't know actually if I have seen I probably seen them when I was very young but it, but, but I don't remember you don't remember being young no okay so she's really given the VIP treatment So what what did you learn? I learned that she was 85 years old when she uh, died, and she died in New York. And uh, this uh, actual place it, it's supposed to be like everybody is equal to death, so nobody is sort of better or like uh, uh, than anybody else. But still, Greta Garba has this uplifted place, and she's the only one buried at this place. And probably she herself wouldn't be so happy about it because she was very withdrawn as a person especially uh, when she got older uh, but now it is like it is and uh, respect to Greta Garbo oh my god these trees are high people I just want to show you this great wall and it's really hard for you to understand how high but if you watch that sort of sign then you can see how great how tall these trees are and we are now going into something called the wood chapel the wooden chapel the, the, the chapel in the woods I guess <gasps> Bonjour. Hello. How are you? I ett sko när ekon satt i granen skulle skala koppar. Fick han höra barnen, då fick han så bra. Tom hoppa han från tallegren. So tell us, what do you know about the wooden chapel? Well, people might say nothing. I say something maybe it's made of wood well it, it is in the woods no. it looks lovely you say you have a woody <laughs> oh 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 a spring oh so flasher This is really weird. It's a lion who sort of spews water. Was it good? 
Yeah, it was nice. It was wet. I give you one crown if you drink it. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that's Greta Garbo's grave over there. But we are now dun, 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 here. Do something, yes. Did you learn? This is a, a, it's not a wine cellar, but it looks maybe like that. But this is where they uh, had the, the caskins before and after the ceremony, not the after. And this uh, is a chapel where it's just one entrance. So uh, they're coming from life, go into the death, and then they're supposed to go out for, to another in, uh, through another door into the new lives so to speak but here they go out from the same door but they turn left and go down the stairs into sort of the the new life after death and you have a it's Carl Millers who, who made the, that sculpture and it was controversial when it when it came because it looks almost like she's naked and have like big boobs and a big belly on our way in here, we heard that this there, it says something here in Latin, and it's if you translate that to English, is today for me to no to me, today for you tomorrow for me something like that. I can't remember, but we both started singing from that song from Rent. Yeah, we're at the the monumental place. Was it all like that? And the, the belief, hope, and the hope, the shackle of hope is supposed to be here somewhere. And these people are obviously dead. I learned that this is the, the, the Holy Chapels. No. <laughs> Chapel of the Holy Cross, Holy Cross. And they have like um, where, where, where the coffin is situated. You don't actually bring the coffin inside. It's this logis logistic thing that, that the, the, the coffin is actually brought up from the roof. This roof. And then they open up these the floor. glass doors floor room floor <laughs> it's coming from the floor and then when when the ceremony is over they open up all these glass doors here and you go into your new life and you also have a uh, outdoors ceremony place here where you can have like uh, very nice uh, uh, fires and stuff magnus is out looking for the grave of one of the designers for this place 
Meanwhile, I didn't move. So here it is. This is one of the designers to this place. This is... Oh. oh. <laughs> we are now going to the new crematorium. It's time. It's time. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new crematorium. And Magnus is going to sing a song. Sing a song. What did you learn? Uh, this is the new cre uh, cremation, cremation house. Crem cre crematorium? <coughs> yeah, you can call it that as well. And it is called a little stone in the woods. And apparently it's, it was a Swedish uh, guy named Johan Celsius who won the architect uh, competition. And I think that they, he won it because of the, the, the color scale, which takes up the, uh, the same colors from the pines that are surrounding the building. And it is also a very big uh, building, but the architecture makes it looks very small and it doesn't take over the woods, it doesn't take over the old crem crematorium, uh, which is a masterpiece. And <laughs> in that sense, he says that this no is not as big masterpiece as that one. So we're about to leave, but we are going to go just to look for Avicii's um, grave. This looks nice as well. We decided not to look for his grave because we thought that might be a little bit ghoulish. Yeah, and it's probably not here anyway. Something about nice to be here, now we're going to go home. Nice to be here, now we're going to go home. When we were up here at the beginning of the day, we talked about the water and the Greek fountains and stuff. And while we were leaving, we found it. So here it is. Say something about it's been a fantastic day and goodbye. Yeah, it's actually, it's been a fantastic day. And uh, this was like, it's been on my, my list. I don't know if it's been on your list, but for, you know, we all heard about this uh, Skogkyrko Gården. And it would be nice to, just to see what it, what the fuss was all about. And uh, so now, after living in Stockholm for 30 years, 20 years, 20 years, it happened. Glorious day, go there and uh, be gay. <laughs>